Okay, cool. Alrighty, I am ready. Okay, cool. Uh, tell me like a short intro about yourself. Wait, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. Give me one second. Sorry, okay. my bad. I, uh, do I do I talk to everyone or to you? Uh, just to me. Second? Yeah, just to me. Okay. 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 Uh, All right, let okay. me know when to go. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I'm ready. Okay, hi. My name is Malika Buzobayeva. I am 23 years old, and I'm originally from Kazakhstan. I'm a model here in Austin, Texas. I'm also a college student and a bartender at night. And I love my life here in Austin. It's the greatest city. I love to meet a lot of new people, and I also speak Russian. <laughs> So there's a lot of Russian community here that I like. And let's see, I love to travel. I definitely love to travel. I love, I've been to a couple of cities in America, but I definitely want to do worldwide travel. That's my goal. And I want to take my grandma to the seven wonders of the world. That's my goal. <laughs> too. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, how did you come up with your, uh, your Instagram name? It was... Um, it was actually, I wanted to just do like no numbers because I feel like the numbers looks kind of whack. So I was thinking, okay, what's a good username that people will know me by and, you know, will we'll just be me. And I kind of just Malika, because my last name is Buzobayeva and a lot of people can't say that. <laughs> so I just shortened it to uh, B-U-Z and it kind of stuck around like Malika People say Malika Buzz, but it's, <laughs> that's like my name now. So I like it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, how did you Thank get you. into uh, modeling? How did how did you get into that? So I've actually started modeling when I was a little girl back in Kazakhstan. I've um, I saw an ad for a modeling agency when I was like nine and ten, and I called them, or they called me, and they said, "Hey, your granddaughter wants to, you know, model for us. Why don't you come in and?" see what what she can do and from then on I've started modeling for them and I did pageants mostly when I was there so I did Little Miss Kazakhstan which I won and I got promoted to represent the country for Little Miss Europe as well and which I won as well <laughs> so I've, I've got little accomplishments back in Kazakhstan but it kind of all changed when I came to America so I kind of had to, you know, start fresh. And um, I lived it in Austin for a year or two before I started to, you know, um, work at my bar that I work at now. And from then on, I met a lot of photographers and, you know, other people in the industry that have helped me, like, collaborate and get to where I am now, which I really, really love. And I'm also signed with Acclaim Talent, which is a, like a little accomplishment of mine that I'm really proud of. So I'm just waiting to see what will happen from there. That's pretty awesome. And you also said you were Thank also you. going to school also? Yes. So right now, since it's summer, I'm just taking, you know, taking a break from class. But I definitely want to um, go back in the summer. I'm actually applied for Texas State in Round Rock. So that's where I live in Round Rock, Texas. And I want to study business and finance. And I really love you know, dealing with money and, you know, <laughs> being a banker. My grandpa was a banker, so I feel like it's in my blood, you know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And I definitely want to own my own business, too. Or like, I don't know if it will be with modeling or my own clothing or boutique. I don't know, but I know it's gonna. I'm going to have a business. You know? Or it can just be my name, you know. My name can. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> so awesome. That's cool. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. So, how long have you done modeling since you said you, you did a little bit when you were younger? How long have you been uh, doing it? Like, has it been like a couple of years, five years? Like, they, you said you were like signed to like an agency, right? Or, or did yeah, I so, wrong? well, well, when I was little, that's when I, I started it. I started doing pageants and like, you know, modeling as a little girl. But because I, I moved from Kazakhstan and lived in Thailand and then lived in, Fort Hood, Killeen, Texas, which is not a lot of opportunity for models to grow. It's not until I came to Austin that I've, I've been doing it. So I, I technically can say in Austin, I've started model, modeling in um, 2017. It was like the beginning of 2017. And from then on, it just grew and grew. And in February, I got signed officially. That's pretty so awesome. It's been almost 
a little over a year here in Austin. But I feel like I've always had that passion. You know, even in Fort Hood, I did a little like um, back to school fashion show with like Sears and PacSun, and there was um, like a model search that I did and got third place. I've always always strive and reached for it, but I never got serious until here in Austin because there's so many wonderful opportunities in Austin, which I love. That's pretty cool. That's awesome, though. That's awesome that you have like a passion for modeling. So that's cool. Yeah, maybe if you yeah. if you're in California <laughs> sometime, that'd be cool. Um, if we could do take some photos, because mm-hmm. I'm actually I actually uh do photography, so I do um oh, some photography wow. and stuff like that. So if you're in California yeah. anytime, yes, I think awesome. that'd be that'd be cool to link up. Yes. Oh my gosh. Definitely. I love to work. You know, with new people and like, collaborating, and I call it create some magic. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. With the photos, but yes. Hopefully, I I want to go to LA. You know, hopefully soon. I've been applying to castings and you know like modeling jobs over there that is in Hollywood. So hopefully you'll see me soon. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. When it comes to Instagram, do you have like a particular like style or feed that you or aesthetic that you try to do when you post your photos on Instagram? Yes. So what I've actually noticed. Um, People do like a lot of clear, you know, um, a lot of clear photos with a lot of detail in them. So that's what I kind of try to do. I like to post all my modeling photos, which is usually work with photographers that have like really good cameras and the pictures always come out great. And I think that's what makes people, you know, like follow me and really like my um, photos because they all they see is like my modeling portraits and my work and my portfolio and it's all clear cut, really good quality photos. And I, I do selfies, but that's more like, you know, for highlights or for stories to kind of like keep my fans like up to date on what I'm doing. But as far as like posting on my feed, I always wanted to be, you know, very clear, like a, a modeling photo that I did. So it's basically like a modeling portfolio for me on my IG with lots of fans. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Uh, do you like have any other social medias or is like Instagram like your, your main one? Yes, uh, Instagram is my main one. I've, I want to get more into YouTube. I started YouTube, but I had a lot of trouble with like copyrights and like the music I chose. So I want to rebrand and start a whole new YouTube channel and build that because I feel like that's a good, you know, platform to, you know, makeup, being fitness, health, just to get people to know me because I feel like a lot of people see my photos but they don't really know about me so I feel like that would be a good platform for that to happen and also Facebook but that's more like friends and family you know I feel like you should start on Instagram TV I feel like you should put some content on there because um the way it works yeah. on there um they have a limit of I think it's 10, min- 10 minutes and they may extend it mm-hmm. a little bit more on mm-hmm. when they um keep rolling it out but um i would say Mm -hmm. go do uh upload like a video like whether it's like 30 seconds a minute or whether it gets close to like 10 minutes or less but i would say upload a video Mm -hmm. on there because you wouldn't really have to compete Mm -hmm. with subscribers you know the people that follow you they will definitely Mm -hmm. get uh you know a notification you know when you put that video up so i would say i would definitely recommend just putting a video on instagram tv so um yes that is a good idea yeah, I would definitely. I, I think yeah. I want to do like a ta- question, like a Q and A video or something like that. Would be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep in mind, it's like vertical video, so all you have to do is just keep it vertical. Oh and, yeah. Yeah, but um, other than that, it's uh pretty simple to use. So like, let's say if you had like an Insta story that you wanted to keep up, you can put that on your um mm-hmm. IGTV or if it was like maybe like a Q and A, like you just said, uh, you can definitely upload that mm-hmm. and. Yeah, like whatever content that you want to put up, like maybe someone shot some behind the scenes footage for you or something like that. You could put that up there. So, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely that's the- cool. I actually have a hip hop dance video that I filmed with my mom in the gym that I want to <laughs> upload. Yeah, like most stuff. Like- yeah, you can definitely <laughs> upload that. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely consider that. That's cool. cool. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. I-, I like to, like, you know, talk with people and, like, get new ideas you know bounce off each other because i think we've talked about ig before id tv and you told me yeah yeah i think it's a game changer for sure yeah yeah most of i didn't think they were going to come out with instagram tv and um, Mm -hmm. i guess like a day before somebody um either posted it um posted like an article and i read about it and i said like man if they actually implement that that's gonna be a game changer they're like yeah we're gonna implement it the day after and i was like yo i'm ready i'm definitely ready for that so 
Yeah, so I That's mean, it's crazy. definitely gonna be a game changer. So hopefully, mm -hmm. it can definitely. And it came out of nowhere too. <laughs> yeah, it definitely did. I mean, um, the platform for Instagram definitely changed a lot. You know, it came from just mm -hmm. like a photo sh sharing website. Only you were only allowed to do square photos, and then they changed that mm -hmm. format, and they can do a longer photos, and then they implemented Insta Stories, and they implemented videos mm -hmm. before. Like they they didn't even have you weren't even allowed to upload videos before, and then. We're up, you're able to upload video and then they did insta stories later on and now they're doing insta stories so it's the platform is definitely changing so it's uh, yeah definitely growing. <laughs> so yeah they actually um at the time of this podcast um they actually accumulated at least um a billion uh users on the platform so oh, wow. yeah so they're definitely moving with the full force so I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely excited to see it grow. I mean, honestly, it's definitely helping me flourish this podcast. Like, honestly, I was able to talk to you through Instagram and um, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of different people. <laughs> so, yeah, a yeah. lot of a lot more people have been responding to their DMs rather than emails. So, I mean, honestly, I definitely appreciate um, the response. Yeah. So, I definitely appreciate the response. So, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, me too. Yeah, so I'm definitely excited to see the platform grow and honestly i'm here for the ride yes. so i'm definitely here for it so. yes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i cool. remember when they first came out and now like where it is now it's just grown so much so i'm excited so yeah I'm, i feel like it's gonna like put youtube kind of like on their game you know because now they're like oh youtube you know trying to <laughs> yeah compete for videos but i think youtube will be here around for a little bit and stuff yeah i mean definitely for youtube more. will definitely be around but hopefully maybe mm -hmm. you'll cause something in youtube and maybe it'll help mm -hmm. have them to update or something so i mean yeah. i'm definitely here for the competition man so i mean mm -hmm. so i understand the aspect so yeah instagram is definitely trying to do what we're here to stay and stuff like that but yeah of course youtube is definitely be around for a long time because you know a lot of people definitely still consume their media and stuff like that so i definitely understand that aspect mm -hmm. so yeah so most of i definitely understand so definitely <laughs> so um what are your thoughts about um social media uh do you have like any like positive or negatives when it comes to social media how do you feel about social media um i think i mean i think i feel like everything has a positive and negative side i always like to focus on the positive though and see how i can benefit from it so def i definitely like how it gets you the exposure and the connection with people you wouldn't have never met mm -hmm. in your life you know you can meet people across the world you know meet fans meet influencers and like get inspired and see all these different ideas come to life from like some people so it's very entertaining and very you know i like to get knowledge from people of how they become successful you know because people make good living from being an influencer you know being promoted by brands so that's my goal of where i want to go and um as far as negative i don't know if there's much of a negative maybe just um i guess being in the real world more than on the social media world if you know what i mean yeah most of we can we can all get caught up in like uh being on our phone too much and not forgetting to like live in the moment and go outside you know smell the air fresh air <laughs> yeah i definitely understand that aspect so yeah yeah that's crazy uh um, so definitely think it's more positive though for sure yeah most of so that's good that's, that's definitely good so what what content were you thinking about um, putting on like video content? What content were you thinking about putting on YouTube or Instagram TV? What what were you thinking about? So I definitely want to do like a Q and A video so people can get to know me. I also like to do makeup and beauty so videos so maybe like I can garner more female female fans as well through that. Because um, I have a lot of girls always asking, oh, your makeup looks so good. How do you do it? Show me a little. <laughs> so I feel like it would be a good way to, you know, have my creative outlet there. And as well as travel, since I like to tra travel so much, I, li I like to vlog. So my latest um, vlog was in Bahamas. And that's what I want to put out to kind of show people that have never been to Bahamas, you know, what it looks like. Kind of be a part of it a little bit as well. What else am I thinking? Gym, gym videos, workout videos, dance videos. Since I took my first hip hop dance class, <laughs> <laughs> definitely that. And behind the scenes, also like if I when I do um, shoots and stuff, I feel like people will be really interested to to know what it looks like behind the scenes. So I I feel like just anything that's 
me, you know, like my life, my brand, my activities, my hobby. Also cooking with my grandma since um, she likes to cook Kazakh food and she's actually really good. Everybody loves her food. I want to learn from her, you know, at the same time, teach people maybe if they want to try Kazakh dishes or just have like a cooking channel with her and be like a good granddaughter, <laughs> granddaughter, grandma time, you know. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, when you take photos, do you do you ever edit them yourself, or like you know when you're taking selfies or stuff like that? Do you ever ed edit them yourself, or not really? Um, when I do photo shoots, usually the photographers edit it. They do like light editing. Um, I also do light editing. I, I try to keep it as natural as possible because um, people that want to work with you, they want to see what you, what you look like naturally. So they don't want to see all those crazy filters or, you know, crazy makeup. <laughs> so I definitely keep it more natural. But I do like, you know, little touch ups here and there. And as far as selfies, I don't really, I don't really <laughs> edit selfies. I just kind of post whatever I feel like. Let it be. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, do you need like any like I definitely have like some applications or apps if you need any like mm -hmm. for Instagram or anything. Uh, what type of phone do you have, by the way? Do you have like an Android so, or, or do you have an iPhone? Yes. Android. I have. Oh. I I love both Android. Yes, for fall, but I have Mac for my computer. I just like how I don't know. I can do more things with it. You know, on my Android. <laughs> But I have a Pixel, Google Pixel right now, that's and not, I've been loving it. That's not too bad. Soon. That's cool. That's, that's definitely good. Um, I have this application called UNUM, uh, -N and what it allows you to do, I don't know if they have that on on Android, but uh, it allows you to like playing your Instagram feed and stuff like that. I'll definitely mm. have to like show you like a picture or like a screenshot or something like that or post it. Yeah, yeah, if they cool. have that in the, the Android app, uh, I would definitely recommend grabbing it. But, like, it's easy to, like, to plan your feed out and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll definitely send you, like, a screenshot or something. And, uh, and that'll be useful so I can see what it looks like. Yeah, 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 before you post. Yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely beneficial. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, what made you want to do the podcast with me? I, I definitely like asking that question with different people. But what made you want to do the yeah. podcast? Um, I guess it was just like the, the first time for everything, you know, experience. I was really excited that you chose me to, you know, be on your podcast. So I definitely like thank the opportunity as well. And I like to, you know, explore and, and see how it goes. And, you know, since it's my first podcast, I'm like, why not, you know, get to talk about you know, Instagram, about life, about my passion and get to know different people. So, and you're in Cali too, so I always wanted to know like life in Cali, how it is. <laughs> awesome, so it's definitely laid back, mm -hmm. definitely laid back. So Yeah, <laughs> so that's I'll cool. be visiting soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool, that'd be cool to meet you in person. That'd be awesome. Yeah, and Thank then you. so usually in the stream, I usually, or, or this podcast, I usually ask um, the people that I interview um, if they have any questions for me that uh, I would definitely answer on stream but um or on this podcast but uh mm -hmm. do you have any do you have any questions for me Yeah so since um your podcast like what is your goal like what are you trying to achieve with this Um honestly uh this is, this podcast has definitely been a wild ride to be honest um mm -hmm. you know I first started um with people who um who live stream and play video games and stuff like that and some people do it for a, a mm -hmm. living some people they do it as a hobby, oh, wow. and then I I branched out to Instagram and some of my friends did it too, um, and then I don't know it was just like it just became something. Uh, the reason why I started it was because one of my friends mm -hmm. uh, she was gonna do a podcast um, and she recorded a couple episodes but she never released them, and then I thought of mm -hmm. the idea like yo what if I started my own podcast like not just be, not because of her but it was just because like. I was like, what if I started my own? Like, I, I would think that'd be pretty mm -hmm. awesome. And so yeah. I, I thought about it. And so I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. And honestly, it's mm -hmm. just been really beneficial for me. And it just, it's definitely been helping me out. So I don't know. I don't know what mm -hmm. I want to see for the future. I don't know. For me, I just like, I just want to get to like maybe episode 100 or something like that. That would be like a goal for me. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but um, you're my 23rd episode. 23rd. Oh, awesome. 
Yeah, and I'm so, 23. Hey, that's so cool. That's hey, that's awesome. Yeah. That's what a that coincidence. Awesome. Yeah. 23. And <laughs> I like how you collaborate too with everyone. You know, it's like from all walks of life. Yeah, I really yeah. Like, like, yeah. I definitely collaborated with uh with my friends. They're they're like professional barbers. I collaborated with a couple models. One um one model that I went to school with, and so she was like, "Yeah, I'll be down to do the podcast." So I did a couple models, um, some Instagram people, some Instagram bloggers, did a uh, one YouTuber, Ooh. um, yeah. So I mean, it my the people that I have on here are pretty diverse, <laughs> so uh, I'm definitely lucky for that. So I'm definitely grateful, and uh, I don't know, I'm definitely just here for the ride. So I mean, honestly, just. A fun way to network, network with people. It's mm-hmm. just a fun way. Um, honestly, I just want to see how, you know, if it, if I could see it grow. And honestly, I'm just having a fun time just talking uh, with people. And uh, it's just like I always have like a fun mm-hmm. time. So, yeah. Yes, you seem like a cool guy and you're yeah. fun to talk to. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't think I have any other questions to ask, but um, – yeah, thank you for coming out. I really appreciate that. This was a fun, fun podcast to do. Thank you so do. much. Yeah, thank you for yes, your time. Yes, I really liked it too. And it's my first podcast, and it's your 23rd podcast, <laughs> and now we're on to bigger and better things. I hope you get your 100th podcast. I'll be there for it. Okay. Yeah, most of <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate that. Maybe sometime Would we'll definitely like do yours? another podcast. Maybe I'll do an IG live with you or something, and we'll definitely Ooh, figure yes. that out. We'll, de- we'll definitely figure that out, so definitely in the future. Yes, let's do video for sure. Yeah, yeah, most uh, visual effect. Yeah, visual. <laughs> we'll definitely do that in the future. But uh, yeah, thank you for taking the time out of your day just to, to do the podcast with me. So I appreciate that. And thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Yeah. Well, have a 